Yo, what is going on guys? This is your boy Candy here today and we are back on Hypixel for some more Minecraft Skyblock. So, today's video is going to be a little bit different than the type of content you guys are probably used to seeing from me and that is because we're going to be talking about a leak that appeared in one of the biggest Hypixel Skyblock discords by an admin mini clone and we're also going to be talking about you know some of the items that we saw in the screenshot as well as some of the armor and weapons that might be coming out within the next dungeons update which is going to be i'm assuming the 0 0.8 update because you guys saw the bug fix update pretty much came out like two days ago and that's like 0.71 so i'm imagining 0.8 is going to be a big dungeon update and hopefully we'll see that hopefully we'll see a bunch of brand new armor and a bunch of new weapons so of course if you guys want to you know be in the loop whenever that update comes make sure you guys Guys, have subscribed to the channel with post notifications on and while you're down there in the description area just go ahead and drop a like you know it helps the channel quite a bit and it makes me more motivated to make some content but nevertheless let's go ahead and get right into this all right, so guys, I think that the 0.9 Dungeons update is coming out really, really soon because some of the admins have started teasing us with a bunch of brand new weapons and a bunch of brand new other items that are going to be joining the game hopefully really, really soon. And one of those items is the Reaper Falchion. Now, this all started today at around 7 o'clock a.m. where in one of the biggest Hypixel Skyblock discords, one of the head admins, Miniclune, actually came in here. He typed the word leaks, right? You know, everybody was expecting expecting yeah 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 just leaks and then what he actually did was that he posted a screenshot which I'll go ahead and put on the screen right now and it is apparently the Reaper Falchion recipe now if we go ahead and look around it is consistent of a diamond sword at the bottom in the middle and then two items that we actually have not seen before on top of it which I'm assuming will be accessed through either dungeons or some other future update now if we go and look at some of the stats of the weapon it's actually a really really good sword comparing it to my aspect the dragons which deals 225 damage and 105 strength the reaper falchion does 120 damage and also gives you an extra 100 strength now obviously this doesn't look like it's going to be a damage dealing sword simply because it's got 100 and i think 10 less damage or 105 less damage than my aspect of the dragons but we also have to look at the intelligence it gives us an extra 200 intelligence which literally looking at my full strong set right now that has golly on everything we only have 169 mana so so it definitely seems like a really, really good sword, especially if we also look at the lore for it. It heals 10 hearts per hit, which, I mean, if you're definitely fighting a horde of zombies or a horde of any type of mob realistically that I would, you know, expect to see from a dungeons update, which is if it's similar to any type of dungeon on any other game, I imagine there's going to be a horde of just mobs running around trying to kill you. And then for every mob that you kill or for every hit that you hit against the mob, you'll regain yourself 10 HP, which I think is definitely good i'm not sure if it's going to be as good as a zombie sword if you primarily plan on using this for healing because if you guys don't know the zombie sword has a chance to heal you for 20 percent whenever you use your ability so it's not even has a chance it literally will heal you 20 percent uh for every right click that you do and use the mana and keep in mind if you have a full y set or a crystal set you have basically a thousand plus mana which basically allows you to instantly heal for pretty much ever now another reason why i think that this sword will be in the next dungeon update is because we look at the next part of the lore we deal 200% damage to zombies and obviously there's no real place that's considered mid or end game that contains zombies if we look at the end it only contains the ender dragon the obsidian defenders as well as the enderman and of course none of those are zombies and also looking at the final lore on this it receives 20% less damage from zombies when held which again I'm just assuming there's going to be a lot of zombies in the dungeons update now now the only thing I don't really like about this sword is that of course it is an epic sword but I can imagine that since it is an epic sword it's not necessarily focused on damage for example you'd probably want to get something that gives you a lot more mana over here while although if you're trying to use this one for just some regular damage as well you can probably try and get spicy on it just to increase your crit damage as well as your attack speed. Now to finally discuss how I think it's going to be crafted, you guys can see that the two items up there that are used as well as the diamond sword aren't really like in the game so far. So I imagine it's going to be kind of like diver armor or kind of like dragon armor where you don't necessarily need a collection to craft it. You kind of just get the items from random boss drops or random mob drops and then you actually just go and get them crafted. So I feel like that's just the way it's going to be crafted or the way that you can actually get access to the sword. I don't think you're going to need a collection. But uh, anyways, boys, I think we are going to be 
done here for this episode. Now, of course, if you guys did enjoy and have your own opinion on what do you think this sword is, like, do you think it's going to be a good sword? It looks a bit mid-tier to me. I definitely don't see it replacing my Aspect of the Dragons or maybe even, like, an Aspect of the End or a Leaping Sword or a Pigment Sword anytime soon. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about that down below. And, of course, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.